What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's episode of How to Thursday, I'm going to show you guys how to fix your face. And this is the picture that we are going to work with. First, I'm going to show you what we'll do with this picture. Uh, as you can see, this is the original. It comes from Pixabay. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can download this image and follow along with this tutorial. This is the original image and this is what we're going to make from it. So as you can see, all the acne is gone. Uh, it's a little bit brighter. It's got a little bit more color. As you can see, it's a little bit more sharp. Um, but first we need to remove the acne. So I've made another one. First, what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate this layer again because everything that we'll do on this layer will be non-destructive to the layer below it. We're going to switch off the original layer. I'm going to call this original. I'm going to call this edit. So here are the tools of GIMP and what we're going to use right now is this repair tool. It looks like a band-aid so we're going to click on it and then you have a couple of options. First one is the size as you can see it's not very big right now but if I increase it like that and it's very big. I'm going to make it a little bit less big. And for this one, we are going to put the hardness on 100. You can also put it on 75, but I like to use 100 right now. And the strength of this one is going to be 100. And we won't do anything with the other options. So what you need to do right now, or what the most easiest thing to do is, is press control and then use your mouse wheel button to scroll in. So you push it away from you, you scroll in. You pull it back, you zoom out. We will be zooming out a couple of times, uh, but for now we are going to zoom in. And what I like to do is, for instance, if I want to remove this zit right here, I want to use uh, a size that's about the same size as this. So right now it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go, that's more like it. And Another tip that I want to give you guys is to use the example skin or the example color that's closest to it because GIMP uses uh, an algorithm to figure out how it's supposed to be and how it should look and that way you won't have a lot of color differences. In order to select the area that you want to use to repair this little blemish is you press control then click on the skin right next to it and as you can see there's a circle over here next to the circle that I'm moving around right now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the left mouse button and there you go it's gone now let's say that's not enough for you so I'm going to hit ctrl Z to undo it what you could do is press one press twice and now you see it's gone there's still a little bit of red so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use a different area and then click on it one more time and you won't see anything of it and you could click just once more or another time and there you have it it's gone so what we need to do is we need to do it for everything uh, this one's a little bit bigger which is a challenge and what I can recommend you doing is uh, you can increase the size, hit control, click, and then I'll show you guys what will happen if I just uh, press the left mouse button and keep it pressed in. So here you go. As you can see, the left circle that I'm using to remove the blemish is following the same structure as the right one which is this one right here look it moves along um, sometimes it goes the right way sometimes it doesn't because if you do this too much zoom out that 
to me this li looks a little bit fake you can see that something has happened over here so I'm going to press ctrl Z and do it there you go see what happened I'm going to do it again so this is the new piece of skin and now I'm going to undo that um, which looks a little bit better so I'm going to press the area next to it and then I'm going to decrease the size a little bit right in between here maybe press there as well doesn't really have to be close to it but it's for the best result and I'm going to just randomly click a couple of things let me see if I can do this and there and there there you go now the big one's gone so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove everything all this acne um, I'm going to do it in a little fast forward pace because you guys now know how you have to do it and then let me see if I can get it from here there you go yeah that looks good now, this one's a little bit harder to do so what I suggest you doing is uh, grab a little piece of here and go like that now you see what happens is I clicked here but it doesn't use this part and just fills it in right here because it uses an algorithm to figure out how it should look so what you need to do now is decrease the size and then press very close to it hit it a couple of times and then this is the tricky part because you have to practice this a little bit it's really a, a hit or miss with this one but the best way to get the best results is to just every time you click you select a different area to remove what you're seeing right here actually what i'm going to do is increase it a little bit grab this part over here if i can click it there you go it's a little bit better I'm going to remove all this coloring but you need to do it in small steps because as you can see it's going to use the area around it to figure out how it should look and that means you have to click a couple of times in order for it to look good go it's still not gone but it's a challenge and that's okay there you go now you see that looks a little bit fake so i'm going to undo that decrease the size again I'm going to fiddle around with this and then i'll talk to you guys in a minute i'm going to fast forward everything remove all this and then i'm going to show you guys the next step here's a couple of big areas that need to increase the size for like that and now it's gone see you don't really see it if you don't like this spot right here you can just grab something that doesn't have that spot you see and now everything's gone it's nice and smooth so keep practicing with this um, and then I'll see you guys in a minute after I'm done doing all this I'm going to fast forward it so you can see me do it like this and then we'll move on to another layer And we're back as you can see I removed all the acne this is the original image this is the edit so it looks pretty good but now we are going to do something to the colors to make it pop a little bit more whenever you edit a photo I always recommend to just enhance it as is in the original version and then move on from there so right now we had a picture with a lot of acne so we need to remove it first before we can enhance the picture even more. And what we're going to do right now is we are going to duplicate this layer twice. So duplicate once, duplicate twice. I'm not going to change anything about this. And now what we're going to do is we are going to colors, gray words, and then choose Luma. And as you can see, it makes the picture black and white. I kind of like it like this, but this is not the final result. So we're going to move from here but I do like this picture and then we are going to colors invert and what that does is it darkens everything that's supposed to be light or that's light in the picture and it makes everything light that's dark in the picture and now what we're going to do we're going to filters blur Gaussian blur 
And for this image we are going to use, let's say, a worth of 30. Hit enter. And as you can see everything is blurred out right now, we are going to press OK. And now what we are going to do, we are going to change the opacity to 30. Which looks nice if you ask me. Uh, and then we are going to right click, merge down. And now, as you can see, this is a layer, but we are going to change the mode to, from normal to grain merge. That's what it says in English. And now it pops, but to me, it's a little bit too strong. The colors pop too much. I don't like that. So I'm going to bring down the opacity to, let's say, let's start with 30. There we go. And now if we switch this layer off, here we see it. this is the original layer and this is the new layer. So once again, original layer and a new layer. Notice how the blacks are a little bit black and the lights are a little bit more light. See, this is fairly soft. And now, oh, and now it's a little bit more light. The same goes for the hair. This is very black, very, it's got a lot of contrast in it. And it didn't have a lot of contrast in this picture. And then the skin tone changes as well, as you can see. It's a little bit more warmer. It looks a little bit more natural. Now the final thing that we can do is we are going to merge this one down as well. So it's a normal layer again. And now it, this was the original layer. This is the new layer. And if you like, you can duplicate the layer and then go to uh, tools, no way. Colors, curves, and now these are the highlights, and these are the shadows, and these are the midtones. I'm going to look what happens when I bring the midtones down a little bit, or when I push them all the way up. And normally, what you do is you make an S curve, so you bring your shadows down a little bit, and then you bring your highlights up a little bit. But I don't like the way it looks in this picture. Uh, it's too strong. You can, you know, make it a little bit less if you like. Um, I think I like it like this. But in this picture, I'm just going to bring down the tones a little bit. There we go. Yeah, just the mid tones. There we go. Okay. Now merge down again so this is the original layer this is the new layer and it looks perfect if you ask me and that's it that's how you enhance your face from a photo I hope you guys liked it leave a thumbs up if you did leave a comment down below what you thought of this tutorial there's one more thing left for me to say which is make love to the like button consider subscribing if you like what you saw hit that bell button and I'll see you guys on Sunday Doei!